kind of has that sort of chunky feel to it. Yeah. Nice, I like it. Learning. Learning? You've learned. Hi, right, hi everyone. I'm doing this video because of them, because they said they want to see your haul. Hi. Anyway, she was telling me that I'm supposed to take all of these and like kind of show you one at a time. And anyway, this is my haul from, was it? Uniglo. Yeah. Oh, you got to introduce yourself. Oh, no, you do it. Uh, you... Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Karen. <laughs> what comes next? Welcome to the channel. I don't say that, but you can. Okay. Uh, what else? <laughs> Let's get stuck in. <laughs> exactly, let's just get stuck right in. Um, I've got a bit of a cold, I'm getting over it, so my voice is a little bit lower than it normally is. I actually like it sound like this because it sounds really sexy. Mm. I wish my voice was always this level. Like, see that little gravel in it? That, that like, look right there, that right there. Hear that? You hear that? We'll just close my Love eyes at night that. and be like. Anyway, anyway, all right, so I got a bit of a haul as well, so it's like his and hers. Right, let's get through this real quick. Okay, so, cool. First off. Got lots of good stuff there, and it's all like, you know, like the warm things, but anyway. Don't tell is, me, I already know, it's them. So let me take this off my lap here for a second. I'll put it down there. This is the Uniglow hoodie, I guess, I don't know how to explain it, but it has like this fur line in it, and it's really, really comfortable. It looks really The cool. best part about it, because I thought it was like a typical, oops, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I thought it was like a typical hoodie or whatever. But what's cool is when you zip it all the way up. Oh, the neck. Yeah, the neckline of it. It's almost like a turtleneck. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. Yeah. So front. it gives like a nice look, especially when you it's layer like a it. It's a collar. Like if you layer it with jackets and things like that. Yeah. It it's a small look like a detail, typical. but it doesn't yeah. make a difference. But anyway, so that's right. one of them. Should we do, do all yours? Or, yeah, alternate. Yeah, you do alternate. One. Okay, so um, I did some damage during the Kate sale. So I picked up four things from Kate. So all on sale for like at least 50% off. And so I was like dug right in there. So first off, I got this Kate pair of jeans and it doesn't even look all that, but it's like it's a wide leg, slightly cropped. And I really like how they fit. I think they have like a low slung fit. So it's really like slouchy and really cool. And I love it. It's like this off white color. So it's perfect to wear with like all white, like, you know, beiges and um, just kind of like creams and stuff. So I got those. All right, you're next. Okay, I am next. So then I'll play off your white with this. All right. Heat tech, long sleeve, cannot beat these things. They are just... Yeah, me too. They're I, I so clutch. Tech. You just use them every time. You wear them under everything. You could even wear them out because... As is. To, believe it or not, like the, the texture of it and everything, it actually is a nice quality yeah. shirt. So it doesn't yeah. come across as like a cheap cotton yeah, shirt. Yeah, you can wear like it that. without hiding it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. So next from Kate, I got... It's a black denim skirt and it's a maxi. So it doesn't look maxi here, but it is. It's a long denim skirt and it has a slit right here. I love denim maxis. I mean, they're really in at the moment. I've had my, I've told you a lot before, I have an old navy one. I picked it up from eBay actually, about on the sleeve about nine years ago, maybe 10. It's been a long time. That's how long I've been into denim maxis. I'll put a couple of pictures on the screen if you don't believe me. But anyway, so continuing with my love of denim maxis, I've got this one in black. I've never had a black one, so there you go. All right, next. Next. Of course, wait, do I have that in black as well? Yes, it's black as well. So we'll just toss it that okay. way. Okay. To go with the heat tech, you must have the leggings. Mm -hmm. These things are absolutely gold. Yeah, they are. I cannot express how many Same. times these things have saved me. Saved me too. Saved I, I have them as well. If you get nothing um, else, get heat tech. Heat tech is the way to go winter. with Uniqlo, for um, sure. Speaking of Uniqlo, they have a sister brand that they own called GU, just those letters. Yes. Um, and they're very unknown at the moment. And the only reason I even know about them is because I saw a girl at Uniqlo working, she was wearing this really cool cargoes, wide legged, slouchy. Michael, which I didn't realize until afterwards, he approached somebody who worked at Uniqlo wearing the same cargoes in a different color. And they both, I say, said they got it from GU, which is the sister brand to Uniqlo. We went there, it's on Broadway, like yep. diagonally opposite, kind of close, to where Prada is on um, Broadway and under the stories, it's like a couple of doors down from there. Run, do not walk, get these. Men's, they come in three colors, they come in black and olive. I have them, I think I have them in, I have them in the olive as well, I know that for sure. Michael has a pair. So much so. Actually, this is it. So much so that even Michael, Michael has, has a pair. Michael has a pair, so I truly, he's hers. 
I was so wrong about sizing. That's and Karen has educated me yeah. on sizing. I have been buying everything that I thought was true to size, Your true size. to fit yeah. my size. It wasn't until I put something on that was oversized and then I looked at it and I went, actually this works. Like why am I buying things that are so form fitted? Okay. Buy things that fit you with a little bit of style, movement, you can do yeah. things with them. Just ignore sizes. That's how I've always said because it's very difficult. So when somebody asks me what size very did you difficult. get, <laughs> I get sizes based on how I want it to fit, not based on it being my true size. Right. So that's the best way I can. For example, this is a size large. Um, I'm not a size large in these, I'm probably a size small, but I wanted it to have a certain fit to it, so that's why I got it in the size. And again, I'll show you in the cutaways, either a reel or a TikTok show me wearing them. Fantastic cotton back pockets. They're so good on that we individually, without knowing, we stopped somebody and said, where did you get those cargoes? Because yeah. they look so They're good. They're very cool. So good. All right. All right. Next up, speaking of kind of cargo ass, yeah. again, Heat tech. By the way, this is Michael's first forte into wearing cargos. So he's never worn them before, but now he's so oh, really? into them. And cargo shorts. Uh, yeah, that's what's my proper shorts. long clothes, that proper clothes. Right, exactly. So, anyway, heat tech pet pants. Actually, these aren't technically cargos, but I guess you could call them that. Uh, yeah, the like relaxed to them. Um, pants. I don't know if you can really see. I might have to kind of back up here a little bit. Yeah. But these are, you know, kind of slouchy and. Oops. <laughs> anyway. Two different colors, that's how much I like them. Yeah. Oh, it's the same, but in different colors. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And see, of the gray. Yeah, which I did with yeah, the other ones, the white big ones. I got them in a couple of different colors. That's GU or Uniqlo? Uniqlo. Okay, cool. Yeah, the only GU thing that we both have are the pants. Oh, those pants, the white yeah, leg cargos. Which are sick. sick. Okay. You can't get them online, by the way. You have to go into the store. You're next. All right, next. So I picked up Acne Scarf. I finally caved. I've looked at these bloody things for years. And I never oh, caved on cool. one, but I finally got this one. Um, went into the shop. It was actually minus ten. <laughs> it was freezing. Literally in New York that day, and it was over the Christmas holidays, and it was so f cold. And I got this color. We walked in there, and I walked out probably wearing it. And I absolutely love it. It's a great color. Super warm. It's stupid warm. And funny enough, I was just saying to Michael the other day because I wore it when I was out looking for people to shoot for street style. Um, because I'm out and about, it's really cold. I had this on and I had so many people compliment me on this scarf. I love the colors. I was really surprised. It's a scarf. I didn't think that was going to happen. Anyway. They had a lot of nice different choices too. As yeah, well. like they all do. Different they're, they're, not, they're not cheap. It's an acne scarf. But trust me, you're going to have this forever. And it's, I, I have not had a, a scarf warmer than that. You're next. Oh, okay. Well, one other thing I like about Uniglo are tees, classic tees. But they have these really stiff sort of white tees and it's nice because when you put them on they get like kind of structured instead of being the typical this is banana republic so it's a little bit softer the way it falls this has like a structured feel so this looks really really cool with the baggies right like any of the baggy pants and stuff so it kind of has that sort of chunky feel to it yeah nice. i like it learning learning you've learned all right so next up from kate i picked up I can't find the other jacket. I think it's upstairs. You know what? I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to get it. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, Karen, go get it, but I'm not going to get it. I picked up two jackets and they literally, actually, it's on my TikTok, so I'm going to show you right here. I picked up this Kate you jacket. Just put it right here over my mic. Right. It's right this, this jacket is an olive, it's wool, it's beautifully made. I really, really like it. So I got it because I always wear my Jacquemus black cropped wool jacket. I wear that all the time. I'll show you here what it looks like. So I wanted to get something that was like a different color to it, but had the same purpose. So I'd have more flexibility and more options color wise. So I also picked up this denim jacket by Kate. Beautiful, same cut with that signature kind of, not their, their cardigans and everything, how they have that really wide cut kind of sleeve. Same thing, so good. I really like it. What are you doing? Oh, it's putting it on. It's so nice. No, no, no. I'm going to put it on. So, this is it. I absolutely love it. Back up a little bit. And the sleeves on it are so good. It's so nice. I love it. There you go. And if you could, yeah, it looks so. I just love this. And again, it was on super sale. So, I was so happy to get it. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It fits me perfectly. So, that was a good piece to wear. It's going to be great going into spring and summer and also just as a layering piece during the winter time underneath the coats and jackets. So, next up, always clutch. 
classic. I like these. These are nice uniglo. I, I tell like you, whenever you walk in there, I don't have my mittens, but I do have, we bought some, but I can't find them right now. Just yeah. like anything else. I know, I have that hat too, and yeah. I got it as well, and I love it. It's just great. Actually, you got it in two colors. Uh, yeah, gray and black, and you have it in gray and black too actually you have a black one oh your black one's like me yeah, anyway black. we're talking to each other sorry yes. all right so <laughs> one of the great pieces i picked up and again this was now on half price sale it's from sakai i love sakai i went to their show last year february in paris and i was so lucky i was so, felt so just honored to be able to go to their show which i love i'm going to show in the screen some scenes from going to the show and i got this incredible coat it's amazing i've already shown in my tiktok i'll show you here on the screen absolutely stunning I originally got it in the wrong size and I said I was going to return it um, but I just loved it so much a lot of you in the comments on TikTok you agreed as well so I returned it and I got a size smaller now since I got the size smaller it got reduced even further to half price and it wasn't half price the first time I bought it so I made out even better it doesn't have hanger appeal this is it just hanging on the hanger but well you can't even see the way exactly. the fabric because yeah. once it's on then you actually see the design of the of the jacket. Yeah, exactly. And it just cinches you in at the waist. I love the length of it. It's, it's just so good. I'm gonna quickly, really, really quickly. It looks put cool, it on. that's why I actually like it. I really like this thing. It's just so cool. So you gotta give them a, yeah. a little sneak see? peek. Yeah. I haven't done up the buttons on this side because it's double breasted. So normally you'd see buttons on this side and buttons on that side. But this is actually it. It's just cinches you in at the waist and it's just like a full kind of skirt at the back it's just so cool i don't know if you can see but anyway i love it it's so cool it's so funny because i actually saw it for the first time at sax on the mannequin and this was during the summer of last year and i loved it i thought it was amazing i think it was the summer and i always thought well that's unusual for a train just like two coats and one you know like laid on top of each other anyway so half price so i picked it up and i do love it so that. that was a score. That was a score for sure. All right, last two things are these skirts. I got them from the Frankie shop. I got one in gold and I got one in silver. Now, I know all of you are going to go, what do you mean? You've already got this in gold. The Holston Heritage Vintage skirt that I have that you lot know about, which I absolutely love. I still have that. It's not going anywhere, by the way. The only reason I got this is because the waistband of that one needs fixing. I can't actually close it. I was actually using a safety pin. The whole time I've had it, I know it's really bad. And it's actually a little bit too small for me. So even if I got it fixed, it would never do up because it's actually too small for me. So I just make do with wearing it by safety pin pinning it. And I always have the waistband covered. Every time you've seen me wear it, and I've had it for what, two years now, you've never seen the waistband. You can, I'll show you pictures on the screen. It's because I can't actually do it up because it's too small, but I love it so much. So that's how I've been wearing it. There you go, I just revealed a secret. So I wanted something where I could have the waistband showing. And so I got this one from the Frankie shop because obviously there's nothing wrong here. It's elastic into waist. And it's actually a bit longer than the one that I got from Holston Heritage. So I got the gold and it looks almost identical, almost identical to the, to the Holston one. And I picked it up in metallic silver, which is a color that I wouldn't normally get because it's so cool toned. But I love gray. I have like my gray men's coat, the long tailored one that I got from the vintage shop. I think that would look so good with this. Um, plus I have like- Your blue eyeliner um, with the silver looks nice. Does it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it would look. Cause I got blue eyeliner on, can you see? Oh yeah. Oh God, yeah, it does look nice together. Just you to know. Aww. Anyway, so there is that. Oh no! All right, so I think that is everything. You didn't ask me if I have anything else. Oh, do you have anything else? No, I don't have Oh, you don't have anything else. Um, very quickly, I'm gonna let you know about my surgery. Shall I say it now? So I let sure. them know. Yes. I had surgery um, in October, and <clears throat> I talked about it on my newsletter and a bit on my Instagram as well, and I did on my TikTok. Um, I suffered from fibroids. I say suffered because I had the surgery to have them removed a second time. First time I had it was about eight years or so ago. My stomach was just getting bigger um, through no explanation. It stayed like that. My time in the months were extremely heavy. Nothing was stopping the flow, literally. I know this is TMI. When I was going to the toilet, I couldn't at one point decide to block my ability to pee. I had to press my stomach in a certain way for the pee to come out. So going to the gynecologist, I had fibroids, had the surgery, got them removed. Um, they basically do a C section cut at the lower part of your stomach go in and remove them you're in a hospital for about two or three days and then it came back 
because again, same symptoms appeared again. The monthlies were heavy, um, the ability to not pee. In fact, it got to the point where I was incontinent, which is really embarrassing, but I'm gonna tell you a lot because I'm sure some of you who can understand, who hear me and think, God, this is happening to me, which is I couldn't hold my pee anymore. So I want to urge the pee and I had to run to the toilet and I would literally wet myself. And it was because the fibroids were pressing on my bladder. Um, so it was just the same again, went to the gynecologist, he said to me, quote unquote, your fibroids are everywhere. So this was in around June that I had that conversation with him. I scheduled to have the surgery right after fashion month of September. So I went in um, around the second week of October, something like that, um, had the surgery. Michael was amazing just coming in. He was actually feeding me on the first day when I just had came out of anesthetic because I was so weak and you're weak for the first couple of days, but then you get slowly stronger and stronger. It took about five weeks or so to recover. Then I went to Art Basel. I was strong enough by then and that was my aim to be strong enough to be able to go to that and I was. Uh, I feel much better now. It was like a light switch difference. I anybody I highly recommend if you if these symptoms sound similar to you please go and get it done so many of you in the comments of my TikTok um, have said to me you know I've had something like that too I've had them burst which is awful yeah that's the worst pain ever I've never had that they grow in the same place as where a baby was so they um, cause miscarriages my mom is a retired midwife she knows this she actually had fibroids she had um, hysterectomy um, I know so many women, especially women of colour, who it tends to happen to disproportionately than any other have had it as well. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. That's why I had my surgery. I pre-recorded YouTube videos, Instagram content, TikTok. So there was, it was kind of seamless and you didn't know, there was no break in the content. But um, I was literally sitting on the sofa because I couldn't, I was too weak to climb upstairs. I was too weak to hold a phone, I was too weak to hold a plate because your stomach um, is what is cut open basically or just in that area of the incision. And um, you're very weak because you use your core to do everything. You don't realize until it's gone. Um, I'm much stronger now and feeling much better. I'm just still taking it day by day, but I'm 10, I'm 10 times better. I'm like 98% to where I was before, except this time my stomach isn't like sticking out. It's so funny because I had one comment on my YouTube video once saying, are you pregnant? And I remember thinking, you know, that's such a terrible thing for women to just assume about somebody else because their stomach is sticking out. There could be lots of reasons for that. And I think it's very unfair and very personal thing to say to somebody out in public. It's, if you're gonna say it, say to someone's face, but say it, you know, across, you know, to one side. You don't sort of say that like that in front of everyone to see. And I think that happens too often. I think that's something that we should stop because as a woman to woman, I know most of you are listening to this, it's just important to just realize there's loads of reasons for why a woman may have gained weight, lost weight, her stomach is sticking out. It's not just, oh, she's pregnant. You know what I mean? Or whatever. So anyway, that is what happened. I had fibroids. If any of these symptoms sound similar to you, please go to your gynecologist and get checked out. It's really, really important. And anyway, that's it. A bit of a serious note to end on, but I wanted to bung this in now. I was gonna do a separate video, but I thought, nah, screw it. I'll just do it now. Anyway, that is it, my loves. That is my his and hers haul. That was my Uniglo haul. And that was my Kate haul, basically. But that is it. I'll see you lot next Friday. Until then, I'll see you on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it really does help to support this channel. So I'll leave a link below, or you can just put, press, press the buttons here or here. I always forget which side it is. I anyway, I'll okay. see you a lot later. Bye. <laughs> I forgot one more thing to show wait, you wait, lot. Wait. There it is, there's the surprise. You ready? Ta-da! These are so cool. <laughs> I finally got the, uh, I, I caved. I got the Loewe rose heeled shoes i think they're beautiful i as you know i'm a boot girl i've always had been a boot girl but i picked these up and i just think they're amazing and look at the bottom of them they're so pretty look at that it's wide at the bottom so it actually feels comfortable and it looks like roses basically it's very clever the design i thought so and the cut of these is absolutely perfect so sorry it's a bit blown out but i wanted to quickly just put those in i can't believe i forgot to show this i literally i was like getting pizza it's in the oven it's warming up and i was like oh shit, i forgot to show those because they're on the floor i was like but that's it let's come back they're yeah, stunning show. and beautiful i've already shown these as you know on my instagram and tiktok but i wanted to show you guys here and i love them i'm going to wear them for fashion week 
at any time I want to go into like any events. I think they look really look good. I'm going to style them with a lookbook for them. So definitely look out for them on my TikTok um, a lookbook on how I style them. But I think they're great and there's such a sexy take on a classic heel. And I think they're great. All right, I'm done. All right, now I'm really gone. Bye. <laughs>